Beach Soup Kitchen is giving back this holiday season. And here to talk more about the toy giveaway is Marlene Mejia, the CEO at the Soup Kitchen. Marlene, thank you so much for being thank here. You. We appreciate it. And, you know, Santa's been coming to the Soup Kitchen since 2007. So you've been doing this for a long time. Tell us more about the program. Well, it has been in existence for uh, that long. And... Uh, it just progressed every year, you know, um, and finally during the uh, pandemic, we decided that we couldn't do without it. There were too many kids in our neighborhood, in our community that needed gifts and toys. So we decided to go um, drive through. So we became, it turned into Meet Santa drive through event. And we loved it so much that even though we went, we could have gone back to the regular way of doing it, we kept it. Do you feel like you were able to serve more people in that in that way? Absolutely. We would serve before maybe um, a thousand kids in a in a regular uh, Santa day or Santa year, and uh, last year we served two thousand families, oh each gosh. one with about three to four kids in each car. So you you know do the math. It, it, it's a lot of kids. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so talk about distributing the toys when they're gonna when they can see Santa. De it's December sixteenth. That's the big time, right? That our meet Santa day is this coming Saturday. Okay. We have partnered up with our uh, with Caridad Center, which is right next to us. Mm -hmm. We're two different entities, but we look we love to work together. And uh, so this uh, this Saturday we will be there. Nine to twelve is when we're open to the public. They go in a long long line and um, bike of cars. And I have a funny story. Uh, sometimes they go, they're there so early in the morning Aww. that um, by the time that the nine o'clock um, hour opens, the cars won't start because they've, you know, their batteries Aww. have gone down because they have been charging cars and, what, and, and uh, charging phones. So we're ready for that too. You're We've prepared done, this year. We are prepared. <laughs> we are prepared to jumpstart them, and we just love to serve them. I love it. Okay, so um, you're still taking donations, I yes. understand. Yes, and, we are. And when can, when and where can people drop those off? So we're taking new and unwrapped toys. Uh, we do have to put, put them in certain bags. Okay. So uh, we do take them until the 15th. Okay. Hopefully, so we have one extra day to just get everything ready. And uh, 7 to 12, mm -hmm. 7 in the morning to 12 noon, and um, Monday through Saturday, so any day. And there's a diaper drive going on. We have an ongoing uh, diaper drive every, every single uh -huh. uh, month. So, yes, we, are, we can take them, especially sizes three and up. And I, I always think it's it's something to think about. One, diapers are so expensive. I have a little one in diapers, too. And mm -hmm. so, you know, they grow out of a size. Sometimes you even have some left over. So I'd imagine any donation oh, is yeah. welcome. Oh, any, yeah, any donation and throughout the year, too. Sure. I mean, once the, the holidays are over... The kids don't take breaks. No, absolutely. They still need them, right? <laughs> oh, it's such an awesome program. Thank you so much for, for all you do. And if you would like to donate, if you want to know more information, we've made it easy for you. You can go to WPBF.com and search Boynton Beach Soup Kitchen, and you can find out how you can donate right up into the last day until this Friday. Thank you.